and welcome to Nani Notes. Well, this is the first in a five-part series dedicated to, well, section 8.3 in our textbook, Proving Parallelograms. Well, our textbook says there's five ways to prove it, so um, we're going to um, have an activity here. We're going to show five ways to construct a parallelogram. And here's the first one. We're going to construct ABCD, quadrilateral ABCD, just from this given line uh, by constructing now, a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. That's the very definition. Let's get to it. So um, I'm going to start by drawing a random transversal through A. Um, well, mine, I think, is 72 degrees, but it's really random. It doesn't matter where it goes. I just don't want it to be trivial, you know, like 90 or 60 or something. So um, draw yourself a transversal. And um, remember, we're making A, B, C, D. So what point goes on this transversal? Yeah, you guessed it. It has to be D. Now, save yourself some room at the top here for a compass swing because we're going to be doing the angle copy procedure. And it, well, it kind of goes like this. Um, let's say, take a compass, give it a random swing, totally random swing. And then you're going to pick that up. That's swing number one, random. Pick it up, put the needle on the D, and you're going to swing it through here. It has to go through that transversal. And it's going to swing down about this far. So these two magenta arcs are the congruent. We just picked it up. Remember, you cross through. You've got two intersections here. That's really important. So um, you know, let's see what we do now. We generated an intersection up here. Notice that. So now I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to gap it. I'm going to put it on this intersection. I'm going to gap it to this one right there. Beautiful. Give it a little swing to make sure it's, it's perfect. And I'm going to pick it up and put the needle here and give that a swing right there. Excellent. And now, well, I'm going to say, I'm going to take that point. And now you take out your straight edge and you're going to line up with D and that point right there. And, um, well, that's going to give you the first of your two parallel lines. And you can see, so that's parallel right there. Beautiful. And, um, well, we're, well, you know the way this works is, of course, that we're making uh, corresponding angles here. And um, guys are curious. We used angle copy procedure. We constructed um, these two angles to be congruent, and they're corresponding back in Chapter 3. Remember, postulate 16, corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel in a plane. So um, let's make the other pair, shall we? And, um, gosh, I'm getting lost over here. Uh, here we go. I'm going to repeat this swing or a new one. This could be a random swing. And then I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to move it over here, and I'm going to swing it on this side. See, again, now I make sure I'm going through the line AB, and I'm swinging up like that. Get this out of the way. And um, then I'm going to gap my compass again for this distance right there. See that? Sweet. And then pick up the pick up your compass, drag it over to this intersection, and give it a swing. And look at that. And you guessed it. You're going to take your straight edge and line that bad boy up. And you're going to go through B and that intersection. And then you will have it. You will have the second of the two parallel lines. And you know, move this out of the way. And there you go. All that remains is for you to label that point C. And we'll call it good. A, B, C, D, a parallelogram constructed by constructing both pairs of opposite sides parallel. 